Some other thank you. Our top story this morning, a rail car leak shuts down a section of the 215 freeway and props, uh, prompts evacuations in the city of Paris. Travis Rice joins us live now with the very latest on what's happening right now. Travis, good morning to you. Tony Aroxia, good morning. The prospect of an explosion is prompting hundreds of people to have been evacuated and also a major freeway closure here in Riverside. Now, just to situate you where we are, we're just a little bit west of the 215, about a half a mile from that leaky rail car that's causing all this drama in Riverside County. Now, here is a map of the area that's affected. As you know, that railway runs just west of the 215, for those of you that are familiar with this area out here. Now, the intersection of Harville and Oleander Avenue it was basically the closest intersection to where this leaking rail car is. It's leaking a chemical that is apparently very explosive or has the potential to explode. So they are, again, they've set up a mile, uh, half a mile radius, and uh, there, it's a largely industrial area here. However, there is the 215 freeway right next to it. There also are 170 homes that have all been evacuated. Now, this all started at around 740 last night. That's when they noticed a sort of substance leaking from a, uh, a tanker kind of in one of these rail cars here and then that's when they made the call to then set up this perimeter and then go door to door evacuating some 170 homes last night. Now those residents have been taken to a local middle school for uh, shelter but as you can imagine crews are very uh, kind of busy in the thick of it trying to sort this out. The chemical is known as styrene. Uh, it is a highly flammable chemical. Um, so right now uh, there isn't much we can do with the actual car. Uh, the uh, concern is not only the car itself, uh, it's the cars that are also surrounding it. These are loaded cars that are also carrying other chemicals. Now, I just spoke to the fire captain a few moments ago. He tells me they have a crew coming from Las Vegas that specializes in these sorts of uh, incidents. Um, as for the chemical, it's styrene for those curious. It's basically used to make rubbers and polymers and those sorts of things. So it is uh, highly explosive when it does reach a certain temperature. Um, uh, basically, first responders are hopeful now because the sun is not out. But one of their bigger concerns is that once it does get hotter, that sort of uh, the, the explosive point for this material um, um, could rise, and that's why they're hoping to get um, this all situated out very quickly. And again, it's a very serious situation here. We're going to have a uh, live press conference at 6 a.m. from Riverside County Fire coming up. Reporting live in Paris, Travis Rice, Fox 11 News.